Vasectomy is the most reliable method of male contraception. More than 500,000 vasectomies are performed in the United States each year. I am Dr. Arif Aga, the founder of the Vasectomy Specialist Clinics of Chicago, where our trademark no-snip vasectomy is performed. In this presentation, you will learn how does vasectomy work? What happens to the sperm after the vasectomy? How is our trademarked no-snip vasectomy performed? How effective is a vasectomy in terms of sterilization? What are the complications of vasectomy? What are the various alternatives to vasectomy? And how to care after the vasectomy? In this video, you will learn the concept of how a vasectomy works. This is the normal anatomy of the male reproductive system. Sperm are produced in the testes. The baby sperm in the testis are immature and do not move much. They are brought into this tube called epididymis, which lies above and behind the testis. Sperm live in the epididymis for a couple of weeks. Here they mature and learn how to swim. The epididymis bends and turns into vas deferens, which is the sperm transport duct. The vas goes above the scrotum and into the groin. Mid-groin, it enters the abdomen and goes from the front of the abdomen to inside and reaches behind the urinary bladder where it dilates into a portion called the ampulla of the vas. The sperm are stored here till ejaculation happens. The same process happens on the other side. When you ejaculate, both vasa contract and push the sperm into the ejaculatory opening bringing the sperm out through the urethra. The contribution made by the sperm to total ejaculation is small. They make less than 5% of the total ejaculation. More than 95% of the ejaculation is produced by seminal vesicles and the prostate. During the vasectomy, the vas is disconnected by removing a little piece of it and the two ends are closed. The sperm produced by the testes are then blocked at the level of vasectomy. No sperm reach the ampulla of the vas. You lose the small contribution made by the sperm to your ejaculation. That loss is not appreciable to the naked eye. You continue to ejaculate nearly the same amount of fluid after the vasectomy without a significant change in the total ejaculated volume. All of the ejaculate after the vasectomy is produced by the seminal vesicles and the prostate, but there are no sperm in it. Also, there is no change in blood testosterone levels after a vasectomy. The testosterone is produced in the testes and absorbed from the testes into the blood circulation. During a vasectomy, the blood vessels of the testes are protected and preserved, Therefore, the testosterone absorption into the bloodstream is unaffected. Similarly, sexual performance after a vasectomy remains unchanged. The erectile function is dependent on the nerve and the blood supply of the penis, which is not disturbed during the vasectomy. In summary, after the vasa are disconnected during a vasectomy, there are no sperm in the semen. There is no appreciable change in volume of ejaculation. There is no change in sexual desire. And there is no change in sexual performance. We hope this video has helped you understand the concept of how a vasectomy works. In this video, you will learn what happens to the sperm after a vasectomy. After the vasectomy, the sperm continue to be produced by the testes. They continue to mature in the epididymis and are brought into the vas to the level of vasectomy. At this point, there is a blockage. The sperm live here. They have a lifespan of two to three weeks. The sperm then die. The dead sperm are broken into small pieces and particles. These particles are then absorbed by the body. In this way, the old sperm are removed from the vas and the new sperm are produced by the testes. This cycle continues for many years after the vasectomy. On the abdominal side of the vas deferens, 
At the time of vasectomy, there are a lot of sperm that have gone across before the procedure. These sperm can produce a pregnancy. Therefore, it must be understood that vasectomy does not impart immediate sterility. A person should be considered fertile till all the sperm are washed out. This may take 20 to 25 ejaculations on average. We perform semen analysis three months after the vasectomy to assess if the sperm have been washed out. With regular sexual activity, 97% of the patients do not have any sperm in their ejaculate at three months. 2 to 3% of patients will still have some sperm at three months after the vasectomy. They may require another semen test after an additional 5 to 10 ejaculations. We hope this video has helped you understand what happens to the sperm after a vasectomy. In this video, you will learn how a no-snip vasectomy is performed. We have trademarked our vasectomy technique as no-snip vasectomy. SNP is an acronym. S for scalpel, N for a needle, I for an incision, and P for pain. No-snip means none of the above. No scalpel is used, hence there is no incision on the scrotal skin. No needle is used for numbing, and the procedure is practically painless. How do we accomplish the no-snip vasectomy? We have a device that is like a hydraulic pen loaded with lidocaine. When it is triggered, it shoots lidocaine through a narrow nozzle at high pressure and speed, like a power jet that filters through the scrotal skin and reaches the vas to numb it. What you feel is like you have been hit by a rubber band. The very first spot may be a little sensitive because you do not know what to expect. Once you know what it feels like, then the second and third spots are not painful at all. We put three spots of numbing on each vas. Once both vasa are numb, a tiny puncture is made in the scrotum in a size just like shown here. This opening is then stretched to a slightly bigger size through which one vas is brought out at a time. A small piece of the vas is removed and sent for examination to the lab for confirmation. The two ends of the disconnected vas are then sealed internally with cauterization and tied externally. The two ends are then positioned such that they are separated by a layer of fascia or a tissue. This maneuver is called fascial interposition. The vas is then pushed back into the scrotum. The same procedure is performed on the other side. Typically, both side vasectomies can be performed through a single opening. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes to do each side. The total procedure generally is completed in about 20 to 25 minutes. We hope this video has helped you understand how our trademarked no-snip vasectomy is performed. In this video, you will learn how effective a vasectomy is in terms of sterilization. The success rate of sterilization after a vasectomy is 99.9%. It must, however, be kept in mind that despite all the maneuvers, there is still a remote chance that the two ends of the vas may reconnect in a process called recanalization. The pregnancy rate after a vasectomy is very low, at 1 in 2,000. One quarter to one half of such pregnancies may occur when alternate contraception is not used before all sperm are cleared from the reproductive tract. We hope this video has helped you understand how effective a vasectomy is in terms of sterilization. In this video, you will learn about various complications of a vasectomy. No-snip vasectomy is a minimally invasive procedure and has a much lesser risk of complications compared to the regular vasectomy that is performed with an incision. These infrequent complications include bleeding, which is minimal with our no-snip technique. We recommend that you take it easy for the first 24 to 48 hours to reduce the risk of bleeding. The infection rate after a vasectomy is low, Although not absolutely necessary, 
we recommend a few doses of prophylactic antibiotics to prevent infection. Pain after the vasectomy is like any other cut in the body after the anesthetic wears off. Most of the pain or discomfort at the site of vasectomy is due to the weight and the movement of the testes. This can be managed with tight underwear or scrotal support. Most vasectomy pains heal in about 5 to 7 days. There is, however, a small group of patients that can develop pain after the vasectomy is supposed to have healed. This is called post-vasectomy pain syndrome. This can happen in the early post-operative period, or more typically, many months after a vasectomy. We use the term syndrome when we cannot attribute a definitive cause to a symptom complex. The cause of chronic scrotal pain after vasectomy is poorly understood but may be related to infection, epididymal or vas congestion, back pressure-induced epididymal rupture, sperm granuloma formation, or nerve entrapment. Luckily, the incidence of post-vasectomy pain syndrome is low at 1-2%. to It is, however, important to know that the condition exists and additional treatments may be necessary to relieve the pain syndrome if this does develop. These treatments may be medical and rarely surgical. Antisperm antibodies may be formed after vasectomy. They do not cause any harm. They can, however, become an important factor if you ever decide to have the vasectomy reversed to have another child. In that case, they may attack the sperm. One must also know that vasectomy reversal is an expensive procedure, and most insurances typically do not cover it. There are debates about whether vasectomy causes various illnesses. One of the predominant debates has been whether vasectomy causes prostate cancer. We do not believe that vasectomy is a cause of prostate cancer because the studies have shown that the incidence of prostate cancer in men who had vasectomy compared to those who did not have a vasectomy is similar. What are the alternatives to vasectomy? There are several alternatives to a vasectomy if you are uncertain about having this procedure. These include the use of condoms, withdrawal, or abstinence. These alternatives are, however, not exceptionally reliable methods of contraception. Your partners can choose one of the several alternative methods of contraception. These include the use of oral contraceptive pills, intrauterine devices, hormone injections, and surgical procedures like tubal ligation and hysterectomy. Most of the non-surgical methods in women are not reliable. Also, they have several side effects. Most of the surgical procedures in women are more complex than a vasectomy. Vasectomy is an easy-to-perform, permanent, and more reliable method of contraception. How to take care of yourself after a vasectomy we recommend that you rest your site of vasectomy by elevating the scrotum with scrotal support or tight underwear. The abdominal end of the vas deferens can be pulled up with heavy lifting. We recommend that you avoid heavy lifting for one week. Similarly, the abdominal end of the vas deferens can be pulled with strong ejaculation. We therefore recommend avoiding sexual activity for one week. The scrotal opening through which vasectomy is performed seals itself in about 48 hours. We recommend keeping the wound dry for that period. Our no-snip vasectomy is very minimally invasive. There is no need to use ice packs or frozen peas. We hope this presentation has helped you understand the various aspects of no-snip vasectomy. For additional information, please visit our website at nosnipvasectomy.com.